Ukraine continues. More people are being forced to leave the country to get to safety. One low country school leader has been so touched by the plight of the Ukrainians that she wanted to do more than just raise money. WSAB's Andrew Davis is in our low country newsroom with how she's helping. Well, as the head of Heritage Academy on Hilton Head Island, Amanda Williams held fundraisers and support drives for Ukraine, but she felt there was more to do and more people to help. And first on her list, some of the teens dealing with tragedy inside their war-torn country. As our humanitarian effort, we are called to do whatever we can do, regardless of what you think about politics and people's actions. These are children. Children from Ukraine that Amanda Williams of Heritage Academy decided not just to give money to, but offer an opportunity at a more peaceful life. If we've got this school and this opportunity and my doors are open, it's almost like, why would we not? So she started the process to bring two students with names she can't even pronounce right now but faces she already cares about, both to come learn at Heritage Academy and live on Hilton Head Island. We are going to look for a home that's safe for the kids. We do want the boys to stay together because there's going to be some comfort in that. Comfort for two teens who have already dealt with war, dealt with the unimaginable. And you read their application and you ask about their mother's name and their mother's employment and contact information and for the father just said dead. When we learned more about the boys, their fathers had been killed in the Russian attack. Their mothers had to pick them up and flee the country. Williams has already found a few people in the area who speak Ukrainian and a few who want to help with their education. She knows more will be needed. Tutors for the classes, counselors to deal with the emotional stress of leaving their families and country behind. But the plan is to not just give them an education, but give them help and hope. Open their little hearts and let them know they're loved and provide an education in the process so that they go back and they're still obviously missing a father, but they knew while they were here, they were taken care of to the best of our ability. Now, Williams hopes the boys are going to be here in June and they may need a place to live for a semester, maybe even longer. That's in addition to food, clothes, and any sort of that medical or psychological help they may have to deal with to get through that separation from their families in the aftermath of the fighting. Heritage Academy does have a 501c3 charity arm, so you can just call the school to find out exactly how you can help. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. Andrew, thank you.